Now we have one more trigonometric function cortex. You know cortex is equal to cos x by sin x. Now it is not defined at x is equal to n pi. Since at x is equal to n pi sin is 0, when sin is 0 the denominator becomes 0, when denominator is 0 the function does not exist. Therefore, the cortex exists or cortex is defined when x is not equal to n pi. Therefore, the domain of cortex, the domain of cortex is equal to set of all real numbers except n pi where n belongs to z set of integers. Now, what about the range? Of course, the range is always r. The range of cortex is r. So, while observing the graph of cortex, we can understand the range of cortex. See, in this graph, cot 0 at 0, at pi, at 2 pi, 3 pi and minus pi, minus 2 pi at those values integral multiples of pi at integral multiples of pi cot is not defined. So, that cot 0 value is infinity cot pi by 2 is equal to 0 cot pi by 2 is equal to 0 and again cot pi is equal to it is always it is not a defined number. So, that during the interval 0 to pi by 2, the graph is above the x axis, I mean it is positive. So, that at 0, the cot values are starts at infinite position and at x is equal to pi by 2, it becomes 0 as x tends to pi, the cot extends to infinity. Similarly, from pi to 2 pi, what about the graph? So, during this interval pi to 3 pi by 2 cot is positive so that and moreover cot pi is equal to infinity. So, that the graph starts at positive direction of infinity and at 3 pi by 2 it becomes 0 and after 3 pi by 2 it goes down and tends to minus infinity. So, similarly in the negative interval minus pi to 0 again in the same way at minus pi the cos tends to cos is at infinite position and at pi by 2 it is 0 and after 0 after pi by 2 it going to infinity as x tends to 0 the graph tends to infinity. So, that this is the graph of cortex. Now, while observing this cortex all the values are all the cot values are belongs to set of real numbers. So, between minus pi to 0 or 0 to pi or pi to 2 pi whatever the interval you choose the values belongs to the interval belongs to the interval minus infinity to plus infinity. So, that is nothing but r hence the range of cortex is equal to r. Next since cortex has the domain r minus n pi where n belongs to z to r is a function defined on this domain, but you know it is uh, not 1 1 function. In fact, the function is defined, but it is not 1 1 on this interval. When the interval is restricted to 0 to pi, when the interval restricted to 0 to pi to r. Now, in this interval 0 to pi, you know the cortex values are cot is completely decreasing, cot is completely decreasing. So, that it is 1 1 as well as on 2, 1 1 and on 2 function. Since cot is 1 1 and on 2 bijection in this interval, Therefore, the inverse of cot known as cot inverse or arc cot defined from r to 0 to pi is inverse of cortex, inverse of cortex. Now, let us see the graph of cot inverse x. Here, the domain of cot inverse x is r. 
so that we can take all real values minus infinity to plus infinity on x axis but range is 0 to pi or pi to 2 pi or uh, 0 to pi or pi to 2 pi or 2 pi to 3 pi etc etc so that divide the interval from 0 to pi pi to 2 pi and in the same way negative direction minus pi to z pi zero, minus pi to 0 like this now as uh, at x is equal to 0 you know cot 0 is equal to actually this value does not exist cot 0 is tending to infinity therefore cot inverse infinity is tends to 0 so as x tends to infinity as x tends to infinity then cot inverse uh, uh, x value tending to 0 cot pi by 2 is equal to 0 no? we know that cot pi by 2 0 therefore pi by 2 is equal to cot inverse 0 so at x is equal to 0 so cot inverse 0 value is equal to pi by 2 as uh, x tends to minus infinity as x tends to minus infinity then cot inverse value tending to pi so in this interval 0 to pi the cot inverse x is from minus infinity to uh, i mean from minus infinity to plus infinity the cot inverse values are defined from 0 to pi similarly from minus infinity to plus infinity we can take the same set of cot inverse values from pi to 2 pi and the graph is similar to that of 0 to pi. Now, in the same way, in the interval minus pi to 0, the cot inverse x is uh, also same as the graph like 0 to pi. So, whenever the interval you take, if we take further interval minus 2 pi to minus pi, then also the graph be like this. In case just like as the graph minus pi to pi and 0 to pi, 0 pi to 2 pi, etc, etc. So, now, now these are the inverse functions of the 6 trigonometric functions. You know cos inverse, the sin inverse x is inverse of sin and the cos inverse x is inverse of cos, tan inverse, cot inverse, secant inverse, cosecant inverse. Now, these are the 6 inverse trigonometric functions to the trigonometric functions sin cos tan cot secant and cosecant so finally we can conclude the domains and the ranges of various inverse trigonometry functions as given in table so for sin inverse x the domain is minus 1 to 1 and range is minus pi by 2 pi by 2 cos inverse x for the cos inverse x function the domain is given by minus 1 to 1 just like as sin inverse x but whereas range is 0 to pi tan inverse x the domain is r range is open bracket minus pi by 2 pi by 2 now cot inverse x also has the same domain r but range is open bracket 0 to pi secant inverse x cosecant inverse x both are having same domain that is r minus open bracket minus 1 to 1 and range of secant inverse x is 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 whereas cosecant inverse x has the range minus pi by 2 pi by 2 closed except at 0. Now you remember this table uh, for further properties of uh, the these 6 inverse trigonometric functions. Now here two problems on the definition of the inverse of trigonometric functions. See the first one is find the principal values of the following cos inverse root 3 by 2, tan inverse of minus root 3 and cosecant inverse of 2. Now let us take the first one cos inverse of root 3 by 2 you know cos inverse of root 3 by 2 now we want to find the principal value of cos inverse of root 3 by 2 let it be some y therefore by the definition of inverse function root 3 by 2 is equal to cos y that implies 
cos y is equal to root 3 by 2. You know, root 3 by 2 is equals to cos pi by 6. Therefore, y is equal to pi by 6. But what is y? y is cos inverse of root 3 by 2. Hence, the principal value of the given function is pi by 6. Next, second one. So, take another bit tan inverse minus root 3, tan inverse minus root 3. Now, to find the principal value of this tan inverse minus root 3, let it be some y. So, consider tan inverse of minus root 3 is equal to some y. Now, then minus root 3 is equal to tan y. Therefore, tan y is equal to uh, tan y is equal to minus root 3 tan y is equal to minus root 3 or while multiplying by minus on both sides minus tan y is equal to tan uh, root 3. Now, I can change this minus tan y as tan of minus y is equal to root 3. You know, this root 3 value is equals to tan pi by 3. Tan pi by 3 is equal to root 3. Therefore, minus y is equal to pi by 3 or y is equal to minus pi by 3. But what is y? y is equals to y is equals to tan inverse of minus root 3 that is equal to minus pi by 3. Next, third one. First question, third bit. Cosecant inverse of 2. Cosecant inverse of 2. Now, this is equals to some y. Consider cosecant inverse 2 is equal to some y. Now, this implies that 2 is equal to cosecant y. While taking the reciprocals, 1 by 2 is equal to sin y. Therefore, sin y is equal to 1 by 2, but 1 by 2 is equal to sin pi by 6. Hence, y is equal to pi by 6. But what is y? y is equals to cosecant inverse 2. Therefore, cosecant inverse 2 is equals to pi by 6. Next, second question. Find the values of the following. So, here the first one is tan inverse of 1 plus cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 plus sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. You know tan inverse of 1 is equal to tan inverse of we can make it 1 as tan pi by 4. Now, since pi by 4 is in its principal domain, so tan inverse of tan pi by 4 is become equals to pi by 4 and cos inverse of minus 1 by 2. Now, here I can take minus 1 by 2 as cos of 2 pi by 3. You know, cos 2 pi by 3 is equals to minus 1 by 2 plus and sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 can be taken as sin of minus pi by 6. Sin of minus pi by 6 is equals to minus sin by minus sin pi by 6 which is equals to minus 1 by 2. Now, see all are in their principal domains. So, tan inverse of tan theta is equal to theta when theta belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, that here pi by 4 is in its principal domain hence that much value is equals to pi by 4. Cos inverse of cos theta is also theta when theta belongs to in its principal domain 0 to 2 pi. Yes, of course, 2 pi by 3 belongs to that interval. So, that cos inverse of cos 2 pi by 3 is equals to 2 pi by 3. Sin inverse of sin theta is equal to sin inverse of sin theta is equal to theta when theta belongs to the principal domain minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Of course, minus pi by 6 is also belongs to 
the same interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Hence, that much value is equals to minus pi by 6. Mm, so, what? It is pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 6. Uh, now, while taking LCM, so clearly we know that 12 is LCM of these fractions. Now, 4 um, multiply with the 3, 3 pi and 3 divide 12 4 times so that it is 8, 8 pi and 6 divide 12 2 times 2 pi. So, hence it is 3 pi plus 8 pi 11, 11 minus 2, 9, 9 pi by 12 or it is also equals to 3 pi by 4. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.